Okay, we are going to do a um, yellow orange and a uh, blue violet this time. So, let's see. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with my yellow. Add a very, very small amount of red to get to my yellow orange. Going to paint my swatch. Let's see, maybe a little bit more red for my yellow orange. Okay. Another brush. I'm going to start with my ultramarine blue, which is very close already to blue. Violet, just add a little bit of my magenta. Till I get to a good blue violet. Let's see, I could take a little more blue. Okay. Then just the small, small, smallest amount of the blue violet to my yellow orange till I get this neutralized color. Yellow orange, still recognizable as yellow orange, but a little neutral. And then I'm going to. that blue-violet that's slightly neutralized that I would still call blue-violet. Okay, and then I'm going to mix them until I get something that doesn't look like either. This looks a little green to me, which tells me I need to add a little bit more red. Oh, there we go. There's my color in between. There's my neutral. So this is my least favorite of the neutral browns. It's kind of a, not the prettiest brown, but still I've gotten to my nice brown neutral, even if it's not my favorite one. Let's see, our next one will be, what do we have left? How about orange and blue? So let's see, let's mix some orange. I already have my cadmium red, so I'm just gonna get out some of my cad yellow medium. Okay, so some of my red into my yellow to get to my nice orange. It's its own color. Okay, so there's my orange. And then, let's see, I need to put my two blues together. A little bit of phthalo and some ultramarine blue, which I still have some over here. Till I get it my neutralized, well not neutralized, but my primary blue that doesn't look like either of the other two. Nice bright pure hue. Okay, so here's my orange and my blue. So I'm just gonna, let's see, I'm gonna add just a little bit of blue to my orange. You know that's gonna impact it. Where's my? Brush. There it is. That color.
color is going to change, that blue is going to change my orange pretty easily. So here we go. Now I've added quite a bit of water, probably more water than I should have. But there's my neutralized orange. And then I'm going to add a little bit of that orange to my blue. Until I get a neutralized blue. Look how pretty that color is and how lovely the two look together. Again, I love these neutralized complements next to each other. They really are beautiful combinations. Okay, we only have one left. So let's see, that is our red green. So let's see, I think maybe, maybe I need to start with the queen. So we're going to do a little bit of phthalo, some cad yellow light, and then for my red, I've got my magenta. Don't need too much magenta because cadmium red, red medium is much closer to a true red than that magenta. And let me mix my green. It's pretty good. Dipping in clean water. There's my green. Fresh paintbrush. And clean water. Go magenta to that red. If I get a good primary red, there are Christmas colors. Okay, so then again, I'm just going to put a little green in my red so that I can get that kind of brick color. running out of paper here so there's my neutralized red and then I'm going to let's see oh there it is I think I'll go back to my green brush get a little red until I get my neutralized green and then I'm running out of red, but let me see if I can get that brown. There we go. Until I get to that color that's not red or green. And there's my neutralized. So there you go. There are all six pairs of complements um, going from pure hue to neutralized, but still recognizable as the hue that it is, to a neutral which is completely um, indistinguishable from its, um, its uh, parent colors.